السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته السلام عليكم وعليكم عليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته اسمي جوناثان هو ار يو جوناثان جون جون How are you, John? And you you have a question for us? Uh, yes, I do. Go ahead, John. Are you there, sir? Yes, I'm listening to you. Go ahead, John. Uh, I am in my room, and uh, I'm having trouble seeking uh, Uma in my area. There are no more forms where I live. Where do you live, John? I live in Park Creek, Texas. No Muslims at all in your area. No mas, no masjid, no mosque. No, sir. Then I would recommend for you, John, to can you move? Can you make a move to uh, Texas? Is filled with Muslims. We do have quite uh, a community in Texas. Uh, The closest one is in uh, uh, San Antonio. But uh, where I work, um, I would have to find employment. Right. Well, um, um, go ahead. I came to Islam. I came to Islam from uh, from the army. I served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Okay. I served in Jalal, in Jalalabad, and Baghdad. Okay. And uh, I was a combat medic. Alhamdulillah, that's and that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm very happy for you. You know your name means Yahya in Arabic, okay? You know that, right? I can call you Yahya. You know that? Say again. Yahya, you know your name in Arabic, Yahya? You're aware of that? John is Yahya. Uh, I'm not aware of that, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, uh, my translator just called me Saif. Mash. <laughs> that's beautiful. Saif? Saif. Oh, that's nice. You know. Saif al Islam. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. That's that's uh, that's very interesting. Uh, John, I would recommend for you. Uh, uh, do you have family, by the way? You have uh, kids, family, wife, or you're by yourself? I'm by myself. Um, Then John. I came back from. I came from. I came back home from Afghanistan, from Jalalabad. Yes, I would then. I was born up. Yes, I would then recommend for you. I, yes, I piece together. I sewed up the brothers and sisters, daughters of Islam, my brothers of the army. I sewed them up. I saved them. I can't, I preserve their life, and they all say. I tell them, I tell them, you will live, you will survive, you are going to live, and say, Inshallah, I will survive. It doesn't matter, no matter what, it is only Allah whether they will survive, not, not anything that I would do. It is only Allah. No. Uh, it is only Allah. Yeah, it's the reliance on Allah. That's the beauty of Islam, John. Is is uh, you know, Islam teaches you to rely on Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Allah, you know, when when you submit uh, to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you make peace with your Creator, and that's the beauty. And and that's when you begin finding inner peace, um, and that is when you begin sharing that inner peace with the rest of humanity. And that's what Islam teaches, and uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless you. But I want to let you know, John, that uh, Islam requires us to be uh, in the midst of, uh, of a community. Uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al hadith fi sunan Abi Dawood, hadith Abi Darda radiallahu an, innama ya'kulu al-dhi'bu min al-ghanam al-qasiyah. The wolf will always eat uh, the lonely sheep. Um, it would be very difficult to maintain uh, a level of faith uh, away from a congregation. So, Alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. uh, you're, you, you know, you're, you're, you don't have a family. I think what you need to do is to start your, you know, your own family somewhere in, in with uh, San Antonio. 
San Antonio is the closest place. Yeah, just go ahead. Me. Why didn't you inquire and, and call the Imam there? Uh, hopefully, we have uh, some of you, some of them watching us. Call the Imam there. Just find out the mosque number. Uh, Islam Finder can help you find that. And just call the Imam there. There is, a, there, there is an Islamic center there. Yeah. I just, uh, I, uh, like being like the the uh, the white guy. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to impose upon them. I don't, I don't, I don't want them to feel uncomfortable about me. And you know, I don't want them to to be afraid. You know. Why should they be afraid that of you? Thing I want. No, don't worry about that stuff. You know, when we become Muslims, we worry no longer about our colors. We, if you look at the Ummah, we have a lot of colorful people. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're just another color. Mm -hmm. but I wouldn't worry about that, uh, John. I would just go out there and just pray, practice Islam with them, uh, learn and, and uh, possibly gradually introduce yourself to the community members and gradually also begin, uh, you know, contributing to the community. And, and uh, that's the way it should go, inshallah. And we'll make dua for you, everybody. Make dua for John that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him steadfastness. So did you take your shahada or you, uh, how did you become a Muslim? Did you take, uh, did you uh, do your test? I, I, watch, I, watch, I watch YouTube videos with uh, Yusuf Estes. Okay. And I decided to take shahada. Allah Rasulullah. And, and I, I believe. When did you take? Said, when did you take it? Did you take it in front of a congregation or by yourself? Just by myself. There is no Muslim so I live. Well, you can take it right now. Can we do it? A yes, lot, sir. A lot of people are watching us, and they will testify to that. So we can do okay. this. You, can you say Ashhadu? Ashhadu Allah. Allah ilaha Allah illallah 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 wa ashhadu wa ashhadu anna Allah Muhammadan Muhammad Rasulullah beautiful Rasulullah beautiful beautiful uh, you say now in English I bear witness I bear witness there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. That's so beautiful. You know, you're so truthful about it, but I can, you're touching my heart and I'm sure you're touching the hearts of a lot of Muslims who are watching. May Allah subhanahu When I was in Iraq, yes. when I was in Iraq, I learned to read and write in Arabic. Mm, beautiful. beautiful. I, learned this be I learned this because as a, I was a combat medic. As a medic, there was Iraqi children and family who needed medicine, they needed care, they needed... And when we gave them the medicine, they, it was in English. They didn't know when to take it. Right. So I, I had my interpreter teach me. So you actually helped, me to help, helped the civilian to give them uh, medicine because they needed it, huh? That's, yeah. That's so beautiful. Can I tell you a little story? Yes, sir. You know, a long time ago, um, there was this man who passed by a Christian woman. Mm -hmm. And this Christian woman was every day uh, giving food to the birds, feeding the birds. You know, uh, like she would go and spend a lot of time feeding some birds nearby her house. So that Muslim told her, you know what, what you're doing is so beautiful, so wonderful, but it's not going to help you because as Muslims we believe the foundation for salvation is uh, monotheism, uh, the statement mm -hmm. which you made tonight. No God yes. with no partners. Uh, right, uh, monotheism. Like Yusuf Estes says, Yes. To worship Allah with Allah. no partners. With no partners. That's correct. So uh, the, the predecessor, yeah. the, 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 the Muslim man told her, it's so beautiful, but if you still pray to three uh, entities, to three uh, gods, that is not going to help you. This act is so wonderful. 
So every time he would see her, he would tell her that. So one day, mm -hmm. later on, maybe 10 years later, this man was doing tawaf around the Kaaba. You know, he was performing uh, the ritual of Hajj. He's going around, you know, the Kaaba in Mecca. Guess he's going to Mecca, yeah. And he was going around the Kaaba. Guess who saw out there? Say again. Guess who saw out there in the Kaaba performing the same ritual? I guess. The woman. I guess this woman. The woman. He saw her there. You know, he asked yeah. her this question What got you here? How did you end up here? You know what she told him? Feeding the birds. You know, yeah. sometimes a lot of people out there, they may be astray, they don't know about Allah, but they have goodness inside them. They end up helping, like you helping, uh, you know, uh, uh, Iraqi who needs medicine, you know. That probably what mm -hmm. the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided you. I, I tell you another real life story that I was told uh, to, 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 to a month ago. A man whose job is to take care of orphans. All mm -hmm. his life, he would just get orphans, bring them up, teach them, provide for them. Guess what? He became 80 years old. And finally, Finally, he's, he took care of a Muslim orphan. That Muslim orphan, grown up, he started talking to the 80 years old about Islam. He became Muslim at the age of 80. <laughs> and, that is, and, that is, and that is the, the thing. When I was in Jalalabad, this is in the, the south of Afghanistan. It was a young child who he was he had many burns on his body and and he was I treated him and I treated him as if he was my own son. Mm -hmm. I loved him. He was a good a good boy. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Through his burdens, he did not make it. He he died. <laughs> but his father said, "Inshallah, if it is God's will, he will make it. If it is Allah's will, he will make it." Yeah, yeah. And his his father's strength. Right. What is what is convinced me? Right. His father said. Inshallah, it was not his son will make it. It was if Allah wills his son, he will make it. If Allah wants his son to live, he will make it. No, no other, no other, no other. So true, so true, John. So true. You know, it's. Uh, but Subhanallah, I, uh, I want to tell you that. Uh, when you have a child who passes away uh, before the age of puberty and you maintain patience, uh, look at this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends an angel and Allah knows best. What my slave is saying, I took away from him a piece of his liver. I have taken from him the best individual that he has in his life, his son or his daughter. What is he saying? Then the angels will go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah, Allah knows. Oh Allah, he's saying praise and thanks to you. He's not rebellious. He's not angry at what you decreed upon him. He's accepting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was... When I, when I, when I saw... When I saw his son, when I treated his son, every day I saw him, I, I, said, I wish your son, I would do my best to make sure your son makes it. I wish your son will live. If only by a large son will live. Yeah, yeah. So true. So I true. am. Yeah. 
I am, I'm so broken inside about that. I wish his son would have made it. His son was a good, a good son, a smart son. He, he, I remember when Muharram came around and I told her, you know, I, I helped, you know, I said, when Muharram, they, uh, they dye their hair with, with, uh, with colors. I, I'm not sure, but inshallah, he will survive. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I, I don't have that kind of strength. Well, How do you get that kind of strength? It's from Allah, accepting what Allah decreed, you know, is for a wisdom, you know. Um, that's where submission serves you, that when you experience a calamity like this, you know it happened for a wisdom and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to comfort you. Uh, mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm glad you're here, John, and, and I'm sorry we have to uh, sign off uh, the air here, but I really enjoyed my conversation with you tonight. You made my night tonight. I, I enjoyed my conversation with you, and I appreciate uh, you calling in. Are you uh, Abdullah? Yes, I am Abdullah, yes. <laughs> One way, yes. <laughs> but uh, you're asking about my name or or my description? Well, did, I, did I chat with, with you on the internet? No, I'm, my name is not Abdullah, no, but I am Abdullah, I'm the slave of Allah, yes. But uh, that's my description, but my name is Kareem Abu Zaid, uh, if you're asking about my name. Mm. But in any way, uh, so, say, go ahead. So, all right, I speak to my father about Islam. Okay. And I tell him that one of our... My his sister-in-law, my aunt, is she claims to be a prophet of God, but there is no prophet of God but Muhammad, peace be upon him. True. There is no one but but Muhammad. True. I try to do that to to convince my family there is none but Allah. Yet. Every time I say this, I become more of an enemy of my family. Yeah, but take it easy on them, uh, John. I would uh, take my time and, and just uh, yourself, just feel comfortable with the religion and uh, do it softly. Uh, don't try to, you know, I, I can tell that you're, you're so much into it, which is so beautiful. Uh, but when we give da'wah, uh, we need to understand that people are not at the same level faith-wise like you are. They do not see what you see. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not make them see that yet. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed you and he made you see what you see now. So now you just have to help them gradually to begin looking uh, at the, uh, you know, the, the world differently. And you have to go about it softly and you, you may need to gradually uh, implement that. Uh, John, I only have a couple of yeah. minutes to sign off, but I enjoyed my conversation with you, and I look forward to uh, to uh, hopefully talking to you again, inshallah. And we'll make dua for you, all the Muslims. Please make dua for John, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him steadfastness. Jazakallah khairan, John. Subhanallah. <laughs> Subhanallah. Subhanallah. All right, John. Take yeah. care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. MashaAllah. <laughs> ما أصاب من مصيبة إلا بإذن الله ومن يؤمن بالله يهد قلبه والله بكل شيء عليم